July 23rd, 2019, 8.08 p.m. Sky view before sunset. We got us a shiny guy going by right now. Hopefully I'm catching him. Shiny. Yeah, there he is. That's why I call him a shiny guy. Change the color, and you guys can see. Look at that right there, all that stuff just starting to build up again. There's still a lot of damage, though. You guys can see those are from the shiny guys, they leave little spurts. I've documented this a whole bunch of times, I've literally got visual proof of them doing it, visual proof of it happening. So they are manipulating the weather big time out here. They're doing it in every state that I'm seeing. We got us a watcher. I've been I've been catching these guys too. I know it's difficult to see, but he's in the center of the screen. It's a little dark thing right there. It's a single engine plane, and they circle my house almost every single day. They do this. They will. Oh, I need to cover up this wind. They circle my house almost every single day, right over the top. I've checked already before when I had my flight radar and I was in and it never showed up. These things don't show up, but I don't know what the deal is, but they just fly around over my house all the time. And I'm sure that this is happening to anybody who's a sky watcher and posts. It's like a type of harassment that they do. Just like the way I always record these flyovers. They started doing this in 2005. I complained about it and they've been doing it ever since. So yeah. Anyway, everyone be safe out there. Uh, one more thing. I want to give a shout out to all the sky watchers out there. You guys are all doing a good job. Uh, I can't name them all off. I will have a written at the bottom, but like Carver 1-3 or Carver 13, GM Skywatcher, uh, Fisherman Skywatcher or Skywatcher Fisherman John. Uh, there's a Planet X watcher. Uh, there's a whole lot of them. If I've missed any, I'll put them down. Uh, shoot, there's a Gina C. Um, a whole number of them. I'm just drawing a blank right now. I will have a list on the bottom of this. In between this, it'll be like a black line. And I'll have a shout out. You guys are all doing a good job out there. Keep up the good work. All right, peace out and be safe. Alright, back up at the same spot, sun used to go down right there in that little V valley, look how far it is right now, July 23rd, 2019, it is 8.14pm, I'm going to start getting out here at 8.10 and hitting the sun because it's really making a difference, I don't know if you guys can see that, but we are having an issue with they're doing delayed sprays. Check that out. Look at that spray line. That's not clouds, people. Chemical. Yeah. Yeah, I've been uh, doing a little bit of research again. I know I've said this in the past, but I want to get this down before I start dropping websites. I want to—I've been checking them out, making sure that they stay and that they're just not phony balonies. But uh, I've had this hunch about this. We're getting the UVC readings, like from MBB333, and. Uh, 
I this this was just totally on my part I started thinking about all the nuclear waste that they've been having to dump away that they can't bury underground and I think that they're compressing them in the tanks and mixing it with the chemtrails and our ozone's already bad enough as it is and this stuff is heavy it's kind of like lead weight and it's put it helps push the chemtrail down and I think that's partially part of the reason why we're getting such high UVC ratings and don't let people fool you where they oh UVC readings only means you're getting the radiation from sunlight well sunlight has radiation which is the same radiation that an atom is when they split it so think about that for a minute it's not too far-fetched that they could be feed, feeding us full of false information and that when they spray that that stuff comes down because I've been having lately a lot of my videos have been coming out with crackly noises and I've been checking it out and I've been hearing a couple other sky watchers theirs are doing the same thing their batteries are dying for no reason I've even had a few sky watchers ask that question I replied back to them I'm having the same problem brand new rechargeable batteries and they're just dying for no reason I don't even go a half a day and the batteries are dead so there's something up with this I mean I'm honestly some days when they spray the rest of the day I feel lethargic and sleepy but I just power through it I didn't think nothing of it you know I was thinking oh it's just a hard day's work I'm starting to rethink this and another thing today I've been seeing chemtrails just show up out of nowhere and I'm not seeing the planes I'm beginning to think that it's there's drones there's someone is opening up my eyes if you guys got a chance go watch uh, Carver 13 He's been doing some research and also watch uh, geoengineeringwatch.org. Go on that website. You guys will learn a lot. Also, an uh, another shout out. GM Skywatcher. Also, Skywatcher Fisherman John. I believe that's the way his channel. Or it's Fisherman Skywatcher John. I think it's Skywatcher Fisherman John. Tennessee. But yeah, I'm going to put a shout out in this post. It'll probably be either at the end of this or it'll be at the end of the beginning of the, the first half the sky view. So everybody's doing a good job out there. You gotta keep the word out and let everybody know. We gotta open people's eyes, man. We gotta put a stop to this. All right, everyone, be safe out there. Peace out.